My earliest memory of Cougar football was actually when uh, Coach Leach got hired. I didn't know who he was. You know, that was way back in when I was in seventh or eighth grade. You know, he's getting hired. The next memory I have after that is uh, Coach Mele coming to visit me in high school and offering me a scholarship. And at this point, I still don't know a lot about Washington State. And then I came on my unofficial visit, and I loved it. When I got that WSU offer, I was like, you know what? I got to come here. This is it. Hey Cougs, I'm Abraham Lucas from Everett, Washington. I play offensive lineman. I'm excited to be up here and get work. Go Cougs. Growing up, I, um, I have four sisters and I have three brothers. Uh, so I grew up with 10 people in the house. You know, my sisters are basketball players. My brothers are football players and soccer players. You know, being in a house that was mainly athletes, money got kind of tight a lot of the times. And, um, you know, my parents, I mean, my biggest supporters, they did everything to make sure that we would get by. And they never let us know that uh, when we were struggling. And, you know, I'm really just so grateful for them and everything that they did for all of us. You know, my mom and my dad slaved to, you know, put food on the table for us. And at times it wasn't enough, but you got to be grateful for those times, you know, because your parents work for you so that you can have the best opportunity. And it taught me to be grateful for everything that I have. Thing about Abe Lucas is he's he's a relentless process guy. He's a guy. Last winter uh, we'd get to to the indoor to set up, um, and he'd beat us there. And that's 5:30 in the morning, day after day. He's the same guy. He's got the same intensity, the same focus on um, any any and everything we're doing. And I'm not exaggerating when I tell people he's the first one on the field every day. There's no question he's the first guy out there. So. Yeah, I mean, he's quiet, he's laid back, but when he gets his hands on you, he's, he's all about business. You know, sometimes greatness isn't the flashy stuff, it's doing the kind of the mundane, boring stuff you think doesn't matter, um, but in the end adds up and, and kind of leads you to that path of greatness. You know, he, he just eats it all up. Well, I'm, I've always been a guy that loves to eat. You know, I think it's just one of the greatest joys of life. So uh, coming in, I saw all the food and I was like, this is awesome. You know, I get to eat as much as I want. Uh, I remember my biggest stat was I gained 21 pounds in two weeks in, this, in my, my first summer here. And I remember just, I was looking at the scale and it was, I think it was like from 260 to 281 or something like that in two weeks. And I was like, how, how is this happening? How is it possible? But I just had to trust it that it was coming on the right way and it's worked for me so far. I mean, it'd be awesome if I was recognized as an All-American guitar player, but uh, I, you know, I still I practice at that because it's something I like doing. It's something I want to get better at. So you can pretty much find me anytime. I'm in my room, just you know, strumming. He's a really physically gifted kid. Um, the thing that he kind of had to figure out was how to move his giant body in space. He can uh, produce and absorb force really, really quickly for such a large human. And once a big, gifted guy like that gets confidence, uh, it's usually bad news for anybody he's competing against. The Oregon game really kind of set the stage for the rest of his season. Uh, you could see flashes of it at Oregon State, and you knew, all right, this kid's coming. He's coming fast. And then the Oregon game really, really, really blew up his confidence. Like, he just knew he belonged. And, and a lot of it is, yeah, I've got the ability. I can do this and you go out and do it, and then you get the, the gratification of success. And I think the beauty of him, and as, long as, as well as everybody else in this room, is we, we have a work in silence mentality. We're not, a, we're not a bunch of chess beaters, look at me, take pictures, look at my stats kind of guys. We just want to put work in every single day, and if you do that, you're going to be successful. Keep your head down and keep moving. Good things will happen. If I didn't get a scholarship, I was going to enlist. I was going to listen to the Army. And everything that y'all donors do for us, you know, I greatly appreciate it. My teammates appreciate it. The opportunity to get an education and play football means the world to us, so thank you.